Uh, I thought I'd go live today. Um, been hanging out uh, up in northern Mississippi, Memphis area. I'm off until the week. Well, I'm off the rest of the week. Probably take off for another couple of weeks. Uh, got a court hearing this Friday. Uh, it's going to be video. My lawyers and everybody. And uh, we're going to cut up and... Uh, Come up here and lawyer up with some other good lawyers up here in northern Mississippi and on the Memphis side. And uh, so they can handle business in Tennessee and Memphis and hire one of the top civil rights lawyers out of Nashville. Shout out to you. Thank you. But listen, guys, I have to tell you, I want to just make sure y'all know. If you want some good food, you got to come to Tunica, Mississippi, okay? Uh, I'm leaving out here in a 10, 15 minutes. But before I left, I just had to get a little food. I don't even gamble. Put $100 in the uh, machine. And before it got, I spent $20 playing the max on the $2 I hit. So this is paid for my whole trip. But my sister, Mary Hart, see my salad, baby. I got everything in here. Beets, pickles, cucumbers, eggs, Croutons, bacon, you don't get that out. They're not married. You know I love how I love dressing. I got cranberry sauce. I got the broccoli. Turkey neck. Oh man. Catfish, lasagna, and uh, a chicken thigh. And the best mama sweet tea you ever have in life. Now, of course I'm not gonna eat all this. But hey, it's buffet. What hey, what the heck? Okay. Let me just clarify something y'all from my hometown somebody said I was bashing on Vicksburg I'm not bashing on Vicksburg that's my hometown and since we got all this evidence documents emails the list goes on bank accounts for people to receive ten thousand dollars to mess over me people in lie went in court and lied to the judge and all of that got my expungement reversed and then turn around send it to everybody, the media and all of that. Something that happened to me 25 years ago. You took my $300,000 that I never got a dime of, but I paid it anyway to make sure them shareholders was blessed. Then you turn around and take my expungement and send it to the companies I was dealing with. When I got the contract, I was not a convicted felon. My record was expunged. But y'all didn't like the fact I was helping people in Vicksburg. I paid for about... Who knows how many funerals? Call C.J. Fisher. He'll tell you. Did nobody ask me to give $10,000 pay for people's funerals and other, other funeral homes. I paid for families who couldn't afford to bury their family. What about all the people, some of them got burned out? I paid for them a place, gave them new furniture, single mothers. Y'all out there, I'm sure you're watching this live, gave you nice cars and all that. And the very people that's sitting up under me, from a lawyer, all of them, this ain't what, see, the law works is not what you know, it's what you can prove. You don't go out here making allegations and you don't have the proof. You got emails, bank statements, uh, text messages, emails from the companies who received the malicious emails. Uh, we got people that went to my bankruptcy lawyer from almost 15 years ago who always was malicious because the government, uh, I got sick and had a heart attack and they waived a million dollars that I owed in taxes. So they've been mad at me ever since. Then I'm a technology, you're gonna say I'm a fraud. Nobody never even come out and said that my technology didn't work. Went to some of the people with NASCAR, list goes on. Char car was 765 miles an hour. Let me, and so let me just clarify this for you guys who beating up on me on mothers. I would never go back to Mullins after what my investigators and all that discovered. Nor would I even want to uh, go back and do anything for Washington, D.C. government. Okay? Let me just say something to you. Y'all hurt me. Really hurt the people who had jobs. What hurt me the most was see grown men who were excited in Washington, D.C. They didn't have no conviction felon. You, you punished me for 25 years ago. And to see grown men cry for losing their jobs for something they didn't have nothing to do with. So let me just say this to you so y'all can stop 
beating up on me on Mullins. Mullins didn't pay me for five million dollars, and I thank God, Mullins, you didn't pay me, because God better gave better opportunity. But the problem I have, there was no due process. Somebody could just send you an email and a letter, and you terminate somebody. Same as you watching in D.C. Come on now. Y'all use that political to attack one another, but you wouldn't think about the people that had jobs. It's Thanksgiving coming up. I'm still helping people that lost their jobs. So let me just say this too when it comes to Vicksburg, Mississippi. And the people who y'all bribed in Vicksburg, Mississippi, y'all are so wrong for that. Y'all are so wrong for bribing them poor people. You know them folks down in Vicksburg don't have nothing, and they down there struggling. Why would you set them up to be locked up by the feds taking bribes? Why would you do that to them poor people that didn't have nothing and struggling and go give them $10,000 to get them to go bash and lie on Lawrence Hard because y'all didn't want mothers to have the technology, the government, you didn't want nobody else. So, and then you turn around, lied on good people. You never told about Evander Holyfield. We brought him to Vicksburg, put him in the parade. I did that, had him to go to the casino. Evander Holyfield, Ray Mercer, Riddick Bowe, James Tony, those are my friends. Y'all go out there just told all kinds of lies. You get what I'm saying? And you Vicksburg lawyer, you might be old, but your mind and your hands ain't bad. Y'all wrong for that. And Paul went for you wrong for going along with it. Bro, you already got a history. Why you let them use you after you already went to prison as a mayor for taking a bribe? Why would you let them use you, brother? My family prayed for you. We supported you when you was going to college. You went to school with my brother during high school. He was at Ole Miss, whatever. He was at Jackson State. All of us grew up. My daddy, who we just, God bless his soul, who just passed, he tried to help you. He was a nice man. My mom prayed for you, all of them. I know you didn't do that for free. You the only person I don't have no evidence and receipts of the bride. But there's no way, brother, you did that for free. And then you lied on a good attorney. You ain't never rode with me in my vehicle at Maristar and heard me tell my lawyer he could have 50% of my company. And the lawyer said, whatever I give him is good enough. You're wrong, brother. You're wrong. You follow me, y'all? Listen to me closely. The law works not on what you know, it's what you can prove. So believe me, I ain't gonna hire these lawyers, put up all this money, and they behind me because I something I know. Then you come to me. We got all the evidence and witness. You try to bribe me to give $15,000 to DA Ricky Smith, the district attorney, to give to his family. Y'all gonna take it to his family and it was going to guarantee me, uh, me and I to fix my expungement. But guess what I did? And it's all recorded, all of that. Witnesses in there. I told them I'm not paying for y'all to fix my expungement. Y'all need to fix it for free. I, ain't, you, I don't take no bribes. Now, I don't know if y'all did that to set me up. So I said that I'm, I'm taking a bribe. I'm trying to bribe DA Ricky Smith. I don't even know if Ricky Smith even knew that y'all did that behind his back. Or if he don't know, or if he did know, if this is what's going on in Vicksburg, and we got we people paying for justice, the attorney general and the feds, y'all need to come on in and look at that. Right now, not next week, because I got plenty of evidence. And if you want to call me, hey, email me. I got the facts. And Mullers, I understand. But Mullers, you never sit down once with me and ask me what was going on, what was this all about. I did tests for you, Mullins, on your vehicles. Your vehicle, not my vehicles, Mullins. And it passed, independent testing company. And you never paid me. And then when it came time to pay me, y'all want me to do EPA tests, then try to make it look like I ain't want to do nothing. That wasn't a part of my contract. I did what you asked me to do. I paid all the engineers, all the testing, all the hotels, I got all the receipts. Why well, I pay for all of this? As soon as these bastards can send you an email, you don't pay me? But well, guess what? I'm glad you didn't pay me. Ain't no hard feelings. Some people, that's how they are. They run when it gets hot. Then y'all went out there and bashed me on YouTube, calling me a fraud, sending emails to the 
uh, to the media. Google Lawrence Hart. This ain't nothing I'm, I'm telling you what I can prove. Saying that they gave me a, con a, a convicted felon. They didn't talk about I've been in and out of jail and writing bad checks. Write no bad checks. But well, those checks bounced because the money was stolen by one of the judge's husbands who was running the company in Mississippi. Y'all prosecuted me to save him. Come on now, y'all y'all stirred this up. Don't run now. You got to come on with your proof and defend this because I ain't sparing no expenses. I'm not scared. And y'all gonna keep trying to keep me quiet. Y'all doing what y'all wanna do, but I got to keep quiet. Come on, y'all. Y'all did some dirty stuff, man. Try to hurt me any way you can, even with the building on Clay Street. Y'all done some dirty stuff. And this ain't a representation of my hometown, but it's a representation of you people that mess over the poor there. That five million was helping people. Me still gonna love Vicksburg, I'm still gonna help people, but I'm not coming there. Y'all ain't gonna plant no dope or something on me, cause you had to get me because I got all this evidence on you. And DA Ricky Smith, I'm calling you out. I hope David they listen. Give me a call, I'll give you the evidence of the $15,000 that they wanted me to give to you to sure that they reverse my expungement. They can't lie. But I want them to lie before you come to me, Mr. Uh, Mr. Uh, Ricky Smith, and then the records. Matter of fact, when you do come to me, Mr. Ricky Smith, how David Day there, let's have somebody from the uh, Mississippi Attorney General's office there too, and you can also bring your FBI uh, representative as well to give the evidence. You can meet me in Nashville, y'all can meet me in DC, or I'll come back to Mississippi with my security because this is going national. Y'all, what y'all did was wrong. It ain't about to find me no more. I would never come back to mothers for what they did. If this how you do your partners, I don't want to work for you. If this how you do people in DC, y'all knew I had character. Whatever happened to the second chance program? So y'all tell all these people they ain't worth nothing. If they make a mistake, they gotta pay for it for the rest of their life. You get what I'm saying? Y'all didn't y'all didn't tell the whole story that I had a real estate lawyer who had me to plea against my will and told me I would get a non-adjudicated sentence. And y'all gave me 24 years trying to protect one of the judges' husband. Come on now, but he's dead and gone. He's not here to defend himself. But the evidence don't lie. So here you have it, Vicksburg. Now, so anybody think I'm beating up on Vicksburg, this might need what it may need to clean up that courthouse and all of that. And let me get this straight. I never once said that Judge Tony Terry took a bribe. The lawyers who consulted with Supreme Court Justice said she should have never allowed them to come into court and reverse my expungement. That was a civil matter. If somebody said I took their money and paid the 300000 that was a civil matter, not a criminal. You don't reverse my expungement and then they send it all over and mess up people's jobs. And Paul, let me just say this. You can't refute this either. You knew that them people knew told me to pay that restitution because they wanted my name clear. You are the ones with others that put the books together and the receipts and send it to the people to make sure that I show proof what I did with the money. You never stood up and yet you went against me and signed the affidavit against my lawyer. Come on, brother. I want the Attorney General to see all that. I got all the receipts, emails. You did this, brother. You can't deny that. Travis Vance, I ain't gonna tell you what you, we got on you. I want what, I, what, what you got, got on you, Travis. You need a good lawyer. So I'm telling you, Ricky Smith, you will not be DA come next election if you don't come see me and fix this. I'm saying, call me. My email is hardconsulting at gmail.com, C-O-N-S-U-L-T-I-N-G. Have David Day there, once again, Mississippi Attorney General, FBI, and you. So we can sit all this evidence so it ain't no trying to try something in the media. And mothers, let me just give you a compliment, mothers. I understand why you did or what you didn't do. I don't care. I'm not out to hurt you, mothers. Matter of fact, I passed by your plant yesterday in Tunica, beautiful. A lot of cars is out there, y'all hiring people. In Tunica, one of the poorest states it was in Mississippi, I want to thank you. That means job for these people in Tunica, Mississippi. So I would never do nothing to hurt you. Tunica, Mississippi come a long ways. Anybody who chose to go there and put businesses, I commend you. So don't y'all be hurting mothers. Mothers made a choice, they made a decision, got to live with it. 
I just can't live with people that don't stand up for me when they knew my character. I proved it. I didn't go in there to fraud nobody. Did nobody give me no hundreds of millions of dollars? I ran off with it. And Paul, all of y'all, when y'all went and did that and lied to the judge, Tony Turk, y'all used a black judge. Now y'all send a message like she been taking bribes. Then you used a man up there in, in California, paid him $10,000 to go on social media and badge me. Come on, DA, the Mississippi and the FBI, come on. See the information. David Day, you want to expose the news and the corruption in Vicksburg? You got my email, call me. I have my lawyers, I got a host up, we'll sit down. I ain't keeping quiet, I ain't scared. I'm doing some big things. Y'all use a lot of people to hurt folks. And this needs to stop. Stop taking advantage of the poor to do your dirty work. Folks in Mississippi struggling. Put my glasses on so y'all can recognize me when I walk in the room. Call me. I'm dropping it all and I'm telling it all. And Ricky Smith, I'm not accusing you because I don't have no evidence that you've been taking bribes other than the evidence what I have regarding the $15,000 that was going to go to your family to assure that they expunge my record and it have me on record saying I shouldn't have to pay to have my response expungement fixed. Y'all need to fix it because you messed it up. I'm not paying no $15,000 to nobody. Now, if you have been taking bribes, you need to join the part with the rest of them that's going to go to jail. That's my just. I don't care about no money. I'm blessed. My stuff is real, and I got real people behind me. But what y'all did to some good people was wrong. Paul Winfield, I love you like a brother, man. But you wrong for what you did, man. Paperwork out there don't lie. How could you ride with me and do things? And then lie and say you was in my car at Mary's stop. Well, y'all know that's the only place I normally stay at when I come to Vicksburg. Come on, y'all. Come on, Paul. Come on, man. I bet you couldn't even give a date of what you said. And they could go get my phone records and all of that to verify what you said. Come on, y'all, stop hurting my time. I grew up there. I would never do anything to hurt anybody in Vicksburg. If I can't do nothing to help you, I ain't sure I ain't gonna do nothing to hurt you. But y'all need to get in that room and fix that. Cause y'all hurting Vicksburg, that's a tourist city. But don't make me go any further. Cause I show evidence of y'all who bring all them guns in and destroy the community and those that know about it is looking the other way. So y'all better fix this. This ain't no extortion, this is the fact. David Day, somebody listen, send him a call, forward this to him. Tell him to call me and sit down and look at the facts. Mullers, you ain't got to worry. I ain't going to drag you in the mud. You ran scared and ran off. You didn't pay me. Watch the D.C. local government. Y'all loving me until they send them emails, and then y'all drop me and come up with other reasons why. That's okay. I understand. But you ain't got to ever worry about Lawrence Harris doing anything for you again. I'm good. God bless y'all. David Day, we may have had all different because people have lied to you, but you called me. I'm giving you the exclusive. You're the local media of my hometown. Set the date with the Attorney General. Matter of fact, I have the news media there too. WLBT, W Channel 12, 16. All of y'all be there and see this with your own eyes. So you can't say Lion Larry or Lawrence is a fraud. Set it up. Put it on the table. It's time for y'all to start voting for people that care about Vicksburg. Not because they color, but they white or black. It's time for change. People are struggling down there. Some of the women working two and three jobs. I try to help them as much as I could. Gave cars and everything away. Why would y'all want to stop those kind of blessings? People that have been struggling all their life. Then you do all this while I'm still grieving on my father, who just got put away last week. And then investigated everybody bring all this information to me. What do you want to do? Then some of the people say, don't do it, don't do it. No, I'm tired of being shut up. That's why all these things keep going on, because y'all scared to speak up. And I understand. You don't want to lose your job. You say something, you be at work the next day, they fire you for some unknown reason. But you can't fire me, I'm blessed. Y'all have a good day, and I'm, I'm about to step on out of here and get on out here to the other side and head on to D.C.
Thank you, Mississippi lawyers, for believing in me. I want y'all there, Nashville lawyers, all of us. Set that date up. FBI, please be at that meeting. Please be there. We can do it live so y'all can show the folks what evidence and what's been going on in my hometown.